Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another BitWave Quick Hit. Today is August 15th. Pat, today we're talking about MailChimp. What's going on there? Yeah, so uh, over the weekend, MailChimp decided to start kind of doing these blanket suspensions of cryptocurrency accounts, uh, uh, subscriber accounts. Um, the big one that we know, because we're it's a, a friend of a friend of BitWaves is Masari. Uh, Masari, which has a very large newsletter uh, community and is incredibly well respected. I mean, these are not guys that are out shilling for Dogecoin V2. I mean, this is a group of very serious people that are, you know, that essentially are doing really insightful takes on this, uh, on, on digital assets that uh, had their account suspended. Um, the way MailChimp described it was this is a action that is about the acceptable use terms. So they basically are saying that crypto is outside of their acceptable use terms and they are not okay with with uh, cryptocurrency companies on MailChimp. Uh, a lot of people got caught up in this. So Masari is one that I like to mention, but there was a group of people like NFT creators that were trying to email their fans about a, a new a new drop. Uh, a uh, uh, There was a group of, uh, oh, the Edge Wallet, which I, again, these weren't like, but there's a world where like, you're like, oh dude, like, you know, someone that was just absolutely the most scammy thing in the world, which, you know, this is crypto, of course, people like that. You get them uh, kind of, you know, being deplatformed. But, uh, and I don't mean that just from MailChimp. I do mean like deplatform. Like it would be great if most of the scammers would deplatform from many, many places. But Edge Wallet, uh, Masari, you know, these are not, these are not scammy things. These are things with real fans and real people that love this stuff. So I, this was a really touchy, touchy move by MailChimp. Mm. Well, and Pat, it, Intuit owns Mailchimp, right? So, so what does this mean, broadly speaking? Well, I know. So, like, someone sent this to one of our chan our Slack channels. You then you're like you you message you're like Pat like Intuit owns this. Like, what does yeah. that mean? Like, I don't know what it means. I mean, at the end of the day, like, what is Intuit going to go through the process of deplatforming these guys? Like, what about QuickBooks? Like, we as Bitway we integrate with QuickBooks. Is is Intuit going to make a stance that you should not be able to account for digital assets uh, from QuickBooks? Uh, what about TurboTax? Like it's, ah. it's uh, really scary. I mean, and I, you know, it's hard to imagine them saying QuickBooks can't be used for digital assets, but I'll tell you, like, if they're going to take a stance and this is a corporate level, the things that they would stop would be invoice payments, right? So QuickBooks has a bunch of features that are like, they have Stripe-like features when you take credit cards, they have ACH invoice payments, they even now offer a checking account. So like, it's, I don't think they would ever really stop you from keeping your books for digital assets, but absolutely they would stop you from uh, from taking uh, Stripe payments, credit cards, things like that. So I would say this was a really, really, really. Uh, I, I mean, I guess I don't know if short sighted is the right term, yeah. but I do think that a this bad was, signal. It's a super bad signal from into it. I like it. Just again, you know, we often get asked about the different general ledgers and stuff. I mean, this this is something that I'm going to have to now start. When someone asks me, "Hey Pat, how do you think about QuickBooks versus NetSuite?" Like, I definitely now have to say, like, well. Uh, I, I like QuickBooks as a great platform, but there's a very good chance that they that they're taking a corporate stance against cryptocurrency companies uh, across the board here. So super super dangerous. All right, I agree. Anything else to add? No, that's it. Um, I, I don't know. If that, <laughs> well, we'll this, keep this is a weird one. This was like this was like of all the things I was expecting to hear from the news. Like this is like the least the least expected one that I was actually uh, expecting. So I don't know, Mailchimp. This is uh, this is this is an odd one. All right. Thanks so much, everyone, for listening. Have a good one. Thanks, Bye. everybody.